Hello again, my name is Ben, here I am today with another mock showcase, here with me this time is, uh, well, another mech, uh, what a surprise, I guess. Uh, the name I have for this is the Adaptive Combat Enhancement Suit, or the Aces. Uh, some story for it, it's just, um, it was made by the same people who made the G-series of mechs, um, and it's just designed as a simple combat mech for, like, I guess, policing. This would be, like, if I, if I'd assume... If it was made for, like, policing, it'd probably have just, like, blue, but I guess this is just its standard model. I guess. I don't know. Making it blue and making... I might do that. But, uh, here it is. Uh, size comparison with the minifigure. There you go. It's pretty short, uh, so there's that. Now, starting off with the construction, starting off as always with the legs. You'll see here, they're most, they're just connected with some simple, like, uh, hinges. And you'll see an inverted single slope on the back, built up with some 1x2 plates here, and these griddle slopes, same on each side. The upper legs, just some clips to attach them together, and they're just covered with some gray grills. Uh, the waist is just a bar with some of these, like, uh, tightening pieces here. Kind of looks just to look like, uh, I don't know, just adds a bit more detail. I really think it looks pretty nice. It also kind of holds them in place instead of just falling out. Uh, the main body here is, um, the main front part here is attached with a droid arm here. And then just another, uh, hinge piece here. Slope, clip with a, and a droid torso to hold the figure in, and just a stud. Uh, the minifigure here, it's just the night monkey from, um, Far From Home. I just think that his, um, colors really work well with the mech. But here you'll see the part where he sits in. Really no controls, which is, um, I'm not, but I'm not really sure how I'd add controls to it. Uh, the, I guess this would be some kind of control, I guess. Uh, the back here, just a, uh, just a 2x2 two two plate, or tile. And just one of these like um, slope pieces with some detail on the sides. Uh, here's some winglet pieces here on the sides for like some extra cover. Which honestly, whoops, fell off. Which honestly, the met, the pilot here isn't really that protected. So yeah, uh, here's just some part here. Uh, and then the arms here, they're kind of attached like um, the other side. Not like this, but just like this. Attached by some clips and on one of these like um hinge pieces to make the main arm. And here's just a stud here and a clip here for the hand. And then for weapons, it's just some simple stud shooters. You know, fire off. Get that back. Uh that's honestly it for it. It's kinda simple, but I do like it. But I also added one more feature to this. I mean, I wouldn't say it was intentional or not, but, uh, to help with, like, speed and transportation, I guess, uh, I gave it the ability to, like, transform into, like, a speeder bike, I guess, so, what you do is just push the for um, push the figure here forward, uh, put this back, well, first I should probably take it off the weapons, uh, then just, like, fold the arms together, turn them around here, and then just fold the legs up here. So that's what it transforms into. Kind of looks like some sort of type of speeder bike, I guess. And also, uh, the stud shooters here, I like to attach them to the feet, to the back of the feet. And they kind of just function as weapons for the bike, which I think looks pretty good. Uh, it is a bit of a simple transformation and uh, might not be the best, but honestly, I really like I really like how it just goes together. And I think that both forms of the vehicle look pretty good. Also, when I first designed it, I didn't really have the arms and the legs, so it kind of looked a little simpler. And I'll just show you what that kind of looked like. It really just looked like that. It's just kind of simplistic. But I do think this looks pretty nice. So, just attach these back together. And another thing I added on to this, uh, whoops, knocked over the camera. Uh, I didn't mention transportation. 
Uh, it is able to like carry cargo. Uh, here I have over here just a simple like um, cargo holder. It's kind of just like five stud uh, five studs wide, so it's a little off, but I think it looks fine or decent. You'll see just a couple of bricks and some plates here, and it's attached here with a droid arm and a hinge. And it attaches on the bike right there. I don't think you can see it that well. It attaches right here. Just uh, attach the droid arm. And then it all connects together. So it kind of just has like um, a like carrying load, I guess. But yeah, that's kind of it for this uh, video. Bit of a short one. I am a bit glad to be um, doing some actual system mock showcases again. Uh, I did like doing the construction mock showcases, but, you know, kind of feels like going back to my roots, I guess. Uh, next video will be on another, um, like, kind of robot I made. So, I have it right over here. So, there's that. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I guess there's not much else to say. Uh, hope you liked it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say, I don't know what else to say, but just hope you enjoyed it and bye.